What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to be talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about the first omen. We'll be talking about the exorcist believer. We'll be talking about Maxine and some of these recent things that have come out about Mia Goth. We are going to be talking about Chucky season three, a rumor with that. And we'll be talking about the Halloween franchise to round out the video. Starting off here with the first omen. So the first omen is supposed to be dropping in April or so. I believe it's a hundred percent also changing damien's lore but i'll just say rumored and allegedly until pro proven otherwise the film will also or is rumored to include two girls with the 666 birthmark and you can actually see one of them in the trailer uh in like the rim of her or the roof of her mouth so this this person in the trailer with the 666 in their mouth this is mia mcgorvin who stars as beatrice one of the two marked girls that i'm referencing naturally with a 666 birthmark beatrice must be linked to satan just like damien who is the son of satan and the antichrist as for the second girl that's rumored to be treated as more of a twist in the upcoming film damien's lore is rumored to be changing since the jackal is not present in this trailer and there's a massive new bit of information about damien's family i'm also told the jackal is not in this movie at all whatsoever outside of just the fact that the jackal isn't present in, tr in the trailer as for my thoughts on the trailer i thought it was effective and keeps you intrigued since it doesn't show a lot the reverse effect was nice too to also symbolize that this is an origin story the rumored story i will say though sounds pretty bad to me and it has a very big piece to the story that's similar to a movie like or similar i would just say to paranormal activity the marked ones but the marked ones is a much better film with a much better story than what has been cooked up in the first omen which i'm told has actually been received very well but these rumored plot details i just don't know why <laughs> i think it's gonna be pretty divisive jumping into the exorcist believer the exorcist or not the exorcist believer the exorcist deceiver the exorcist deceiver will not be directed by david gordon green and currently has no release date so the hollywood reporter broke this news i believe like a day or two ago but universal took this thing off of the 2025 release schedule and several horror fans are saying good riddance to quote kendra from buffy season two i actually think she said good riddance then <laughs> honestly the approach to believer was awful and i don't know who as a fan of the original would look at what they cooked up and look at what you had to work with and go yeah this is the story we should move forward with that can pay respect to what came in that 74 classic i think it came out in 74 or 73 better writers are absolutely needed for this inevitable sequel because it's not canceled but it also should not be anyone that wrote believer if you're up to me i'd abandon all creative plans and start fresh believer didn't end up being as awful as i thought it would be but it checked off all the negatives it had poor use of chris undercooked characters dim-witted ex experts who would otherwise be more more useful if written by someone else and a few other things you can hear me rant about during my spoiler review for the exorcist believer which again ended up being better than i thought it would be but still had a lot of things wrong with it that just do not make sense and definitely could have been avoided if you had some competent writers in the mix going into or jumping into maxine maxine could be a summer 2024 release according to michelle monaghan who disclosed this interesting speculative piece during a interview with salon it didn't come off as a speculation as much as it came off like i've heard it's a summer release that's what her energy made it seem like more like a i recall instead of a i guess on her part i'll just leave a link to the clip on my twitter so you guys can check it out and hopefully the film can make its summer release that michelle monaghan thinks it will have although some are skeptical thanks to this latest drama with mia goth who has been sued for allegedly assaulting an extra on set and for belittling them and much more all i can say is is that in response to this is that this is exactly why i don't entertain these humans outside of the role they exist for to entertain mia seems like a lovely person but everyone is capable of awful things and there's no excuse for her behavior if true but this is exactly why I try not to become too involved in the lives of complete strangers. They're all humans. I can love stuff about them and I can't really be shocked when certain things come out about people because people are capable of terrible things, some more than others, very terrible things. But hopefully 
This film can drop with no issues, and I don't see why this would hold this up. I don't see this holding up the film any more so than her husband's upcoming trial shouldn't hold up the film. Now, jumping into Chucky Season 3. Chucky Season 3 is rumored to be debuting in May of 2024. Sci-Fi hasn't confirmed this, and neither has anyone involved with the franchise. Not that they would if they aren't able to. But I will say that Chucky shouldn't wait until the fall to return, and I'll say that until I'm green in the face it's not if not for the strikes we'd have all eight episodes by now release it as soon as it can possibly be shown to the public because I need to know how the good guy creator <laughs> factors into part two how Chucky or whoever gets involved with him or how he gets involved in Chucky shenanigans as the reports state and if this finale is very conclusive and not something that teases a season four like how season one teases season two season two teases season three diving into or diving into the last bit here for halloween danielle harris shared some interesting comments on how the halloween tv show could be something many fans can get behind while also saying what she's hopeful for which is a return to the franchise this was with comic books she says i'm hoping for a jamie lloyd comeback to be honest i'm happy that it's not over not that i ever thought it was going to be over by any means i'm looking forward to seeing sort of the universe that is open and is there and it'll be really interesting to see them finish the timelines with all the different characters because that would be an awesome television series or something i think that's kind of a new way that a lot of these franchises are going so it'd be nice to have more than 90 minutes show characters a relationship and michael and all that stuff i don't expect it to be like killing off everybody if they do a series it's not going to be killing everyone in every episode but it'd be nice for it to gradually grow into a story and have 13 episodes or season after season like chucky i mean it's such a fantastic idea it'd be fun to have michael in your house more than just on halloween now i will say she's kind of cooking there with how the tv show could inevitably please a lot of fans let's say the tv show is actually con concluding certain timelines and that's what they decide to do as some sort of cinematic universe in a way uh granted in my experience the cinematic universe tends to be connected so i would think they would have to toss in some type of story in one season that connects all of this grant but also they don't have to do that i would i would prefer you don't do a cinematic universe because she's really on to something here when she proposes that they possibly could go down a path of finishing certain things that people have been clamoring them to finish like each season is dedicated to finishing a certain timeline that people have constantly been wanting them to go back to i would love to see that approach let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video